In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on August 3rd, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets. As we provide these videos on a daily basis, I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games. After fully watching this video, one more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from 1 betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Oakland Athletics vs. Los Angeles Angels The Athletics had won four in a row before losing their last three games. The club has the fewest wins in the American League and when looking at their stats it is not surprising as they only rank 23rd in Team ERI and 2nd to last in runs scored. The Angels have been a disappointment this season but they have won 2 of their last 3 games. They are 5-5 in their last 10 games and 15 games under .500 and 22 games out of 1st place in the American League West. The Angels won Game 1 of this series with solid pitching and look for that to happen in Game 2. Otani gave up 2 runs in his last start and 6 in his previous one but he will have a great outing in this game facing an Oakland lineup that ranks 2nd to last in the majors and runs scored. Caprillion has been solid in his last two starts and will be okay in this one but he will not outdo Otani. Otani is just 1-2 to two over his last three outings, he's only pitched badly in one of those. However, against Atlanta on July 22nd, Otani put up 6 earned in 6.1 innings during a loss. In the other pair of that most recent trio however, Otani has a combined 12 innings with 3 earned on 12 hits and 2 walks. He'll be good for 6 innings or so here as well if all goes according to plan. That should put the Angels in a positive position later in the game. So the Los Angeles Angels money line is our full game side pick. Otani is going to bounce back following a couple of weak starts and Oakland's batters are going to be frustrated with him. Show a fan 10 plus batters in each of his previous 6 starts so that gives you a clear picture of how greatly the Athletics will struggle against the Japanese. On the other hand, the Angels batters are going through a rough patch as they can't hit big and send the ball out of the park as earlier in the season. That should be enough for whoever the Athletics start on Wednesday to have an easier job against Los Angeles. Otani has given up 8 runs in his last 2 starts and 2 in his last 1 but I look for him to have a great start. He will be making his first start of the season facing an Athletics lineup that ranks 2nd to last in baseball and runs scored and has has only totaled four runs in losing their last three games. Caprillion will also have a good start, as he has pitched well as of late. Game 1 went under and I am leaning towards that pick in this game as well. This game will be far from a barn burner. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Colorado Rockies vs. San Diego Padres The Colorado Rockies and the San Diego Padres are playing their fourth game in a five-game series against one another at Petco Park on Wednesday night. The Rockies are sending righty Chad Kuhn to the mound and is coming off a losing effort against the Los Angeles Dodgers as he threw 3.2 innings and gave up five runs on six hits with a hit by pitch four walks, and three strikeouts. The Padres are having former American League Cy Young Award winner Southpaw Blake Snell pitching here and picked up a win over the Minnesota Twins as he went six innings and allowed a run on four hits with a walk and seven strikeouts. Colorado is 1-5 in their last six games overall and 1-5 in their last six road games while the under is 4-1 in their last five games overall. San Diego is 4-1 in their last five games overall and 4-1 in their last five home games while the over is 6-3 in their last nine games overall. San Diego incredibly improved at the trade deadline and were already the better team than Colorado this year. Chad Cool is 3-3 with a 5.03 ERI in 10 road games this season, while Blake Snell is 2-3 with a 4.09 ERI in 6 home starts so far. These offenses have been on two completely different levels lately as the Padres are averaging 5.57 runs per game in their last 7 games, while the Rockies are scoring 3.25 runs per game in their last 8 games. The Padres were feeling themselves in a big way yesterday after the moves that were made to push this team into the next level and while the Rockies have provided value in some spots as a dog this season, they're not doing it right now and the results aren't very good. San Diego has just won another level right now and I believe that they find a way to take it to the Rockies once again here. So the San Diego Padres money line is our full game side pick.
it is very likely that both Josh Bell and Juan Soto could appear in the lineup for this game to make their San Diego Padres debut and that makes this lineup incredibly deeper than it was before. Chad Cool has a 6.23 ERI in his previous seven starts while Blake Snell is pitching to a 4 ERI in his last seven games. Colorado is pitching to a 5.04 team road ERI this season while San Diego has a 3.42 home ERI as a staff so runs will definitely be scored on a pitching staff that played two games on Tuesday. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Los Angeles Dodgers vs. San Francisco Giants The Los Angeles Dodgers are at Oracle Park on Wednesday to play the third game of this four-game series against the San Francisco Giants. Los Angeles has won two straight after defeating the San Francisco Giants 8-2 on Monday. Los Angeles has won five of their last six games and is looking to continue that stretch. In Monday's win, Los Angeles had 11 hits, with seven being for extra bases. Los Angeles is first in the National League West at 69-33 and leads the aggressive San Diego Padres by 11 half games. Los Angeles has nine pitchers on its injury list as well as position players Justin Turner, Chris Taylor, Edwin Rios, Kevin Piller and Victor Gonzalez. San Francisco lost to the Los Angeles Dodgers 5-0 on Monday. Wilmer Flores hit his 16th home run on the season. San Francisco has lost three out of the last 10 and the Giants are 51-52 which is third in the National League Central, 18 half games behind the front-running Dodgers. San Francisco has four pitchers on its injury report as well as position players Tyro Estrada, Jock Pedersen, Evan Longoria, and Brandon Crawford. The Dodgers are 8-1 in their last nine road games and 49-21 in their last 70 overall. The Giants are 6-2 in their last eight home games and 3-9 in their last 12 overall. The under is 5-2 in Giants' last seven Wednesday games. The Dodgers are 5-0 in the last five meetings. The Los Angeles Dodgers have been one of the best overall teams in the sport as they have a complete team and should do well. The San Francisco Giants have struggled, but kept their team around after the the trade deadline. They have won seven of their ten games against the Giants this season. The San Francisco Giants just can't get out of their own way, and it's getting tougher and tougher to make a case for them. To make matters worse, Julio Urias is on the other side of this matchup. Not only has Urias been one of the best pitchers in baseball this season, but he's holding current Giants to a .85 batting average with 47 strikeouts and 116 at-bats. I don't expect the Giants to break out of their slump in this one. When it rains, it pours. So the Los Angeles Dodgers' money line is our full game side pick. The total has finished under three out of the last five games that Los Angeles has played in San Francisco with one push. In addition, the total has also finished under in the last six games that Los Angeles has played a game three of a series in and in five of San Francisco's last seven Wednesday games overall. Julio Urias has allowed two earned runs or less in his last three starts for Los Angeles. Alex Cobb has allowed three earned runs or less in eight of his last nine starts for San Francisco. Cobb is coming off a start where he gave up only one run, and the Dodgers will struggle here. Urias sits with an ERI of 2.71 and runs are also going to be hard to come by for the Giants who have had issues scoring this season. All the trends point towards the under. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.